something better. So this is the inspo. I got these Converse about a year ago and I haven't really worn them too much because it just doesn't go with everything. So I wanted to transform these into something really cool so that I want to wear them. And I, when I found this inspo, I was like, I don't have a knack for sewing. Like I'm not too good at sewing, but I think this is a really simple design. This is so hard, so painful, so terrible. So you can see I already etched out my first spiderweb design for these spider-man inspired converse what i think we're gonna need is some needles a pen to etch out the white design so i can see it better if i actually like it with the white scissors of course and lastly some white thread i've never tried sewing on like canvas shoes so i'm super excited to get started on this design Somebody tell me why it is so hard to sew the canvas that is on the converse. I'm using a scissor to hold the needle and yank it out because it doesn't come out. Guys, I started at 2.30 and it's 4.30 and it's been two hours and this, this is all I've got. Okay, it's officially been three hours and this is everything that I've got. I just have to finish this bottom section. And this is only one shoe, you guys. This is taking me way too long and my fingers are bruised. Also, I'm really hot right now. My mom won't let me turn on the AC. My mom's always cold, so she doesn't let us turn on the AC even though it's 80 degrees right now. Send help. Let's prick myself again. Five gazillionth time. You know what? Making this little spider web made me, made me think about how real spiders, they make their webs, they put so much effort into it and we just destroy them. So I'm sorry to any spider whose web I may have destroyed. This is a long, prestigious, hard, painful, excruciating process. So, high five to you. My fingers are in so much pain. Duh. As we hit the four hour mark, this is how much I've done. <laughs> I will. I will finish this today. The hardest part about this, I think, is making all the stitches even. And you can clearly s see that not all the stitches are even. But I'm like so tired from making the first shoe. I don't know when I'm ever going to want to do the second shoe. Like... but these last couple lines because if you take a look <laughs> this is crazy but if you take a look if you see on the heel part right here there's like an extra thicker layer of padding for your heel which in material wise is good for when you're trying to have long lasting shoes with converse but i literally can't pierce through with my needle so i had a puncher but also I'm too tired. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this tomorrow or sometime later. But technically the shoe is done. 
what do we think guys this is almost done done spider-man converse i think it'd be only fitting for me to be working on this for so long to at least wear it one time even though it's not fully fully finished it's pretty finished so let's try it on okay guys this is the full ish kind of almost finished look of the converse they're like almost finished but i think they look really cool <gasps> wow. okay that was day one we still need to do the other shoe and finish up the first one but whatever i did good enough for one day and that was five hours and five hours and 30 minutes one shoe really like no i'm not joking how is it five hours and 30 minutes for not even that much embroidering what whatever see you guys later bye